What's up, beautiful people? I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, and today we are talking all things monetization on YouTube, y'all. I know they say, don't do YouTube for the money. You ain't gonna make that much when you first get started. Y'all can believe the lies if y'all want to, but I think that it is totally fine to wanna start a channel to maximize your impact, your income. That's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today of what that process looks like on YouTube if you are someone who is interested in learning about the monetization process. Now, I have a video from 2019 that is on my channel where I go through the entire process and I I decided it was time for a little refresh because when I went back and watched it, so many of the screenshots were old, like YouTube's back end doesn't even look the same anymore. So I am refreshing this video and I have taken a lot of the FAQs from that video and I'm gonna be answering them in this one. So here are some of the things we're gonna cover. Eligibility requirements. What do you even need to do to become eligible to monetize? Number two is how to activate your monetization once you are officially accepted as a YouTube partner. Number three is how to actually place the ads inside of your video. Payment logistics, like how you get paid, when you get paid, taxes, CPMs, all of that stuff I'm gonna break down. We're also gonna touch on other ways to monetize on YouTube besides just ads. And we're gonna end it off with how much I've actually made on YouTube this year. Okay, number one, let's get into monetization eligibility requirements. Whew, that was a mouthful. So I just wanna let you know that when you are able to be monetized, you are considered a YouTube partner. And that is just a little bit of prereq in YouTube if you go through um, and do some research on your own in your channel. You may see YPP as an abbreviation for YouTube Partner Program, and they refer to you as a partner once you are eligible to monetize. So what makes you eligible to be a YouTube partner? Number one is you do have to hit some certain stats with your channel. So you have to hit 4,000 watched public hours and 1,000 subscribers within one year. They basically want to know that you have enough traffic on your channel for advertisers to actually benefit from running ads on your channel. It would be a little bit pointless to have ads running on a channel that isn't getting any traffic. So that is their way of hoping that your channel is getting enough traffic and growing. With the 4,000 watched hours and 1,000 subscribers within a year, it can get a little confusing. Basically what this means is it is a rolling 365 days. So it doesn't start every January 1st. It's 365 days from today. Basically tomorrow, it'll be the last 365 days from tomorrow. And in December, it'll be on December 1st, it'll be the last 365 days from December 1st that you would have had to hit those 4,000 watched hours and reach 1,000 subscribers. Keep in mind that these watched hours are public watched hours. So I wanna clarify that this does not include unlisted videos on your channel. So if you have an unlisted video and you are sending it out to your family and friends and it is not public, those views do not count as watched hours. So. You want to be mindful that your videos are public. Another thing to keep in mind, if you have a website and you're embedding a video that you created on YouTube onto your site and you're seeing the views go up and you're getting maybe even thousands of hits because you have this video embedded from uh, YouTube onto your website, those also do not count as watched hours. It has to be a public video on YouTube that is getting traffic. It also does not count if you constantly watch your own video over and over and over and over again. YouTube has some stipulations when it comes to what those public watched hours means. And for the most part, I just explained that to you. Another little prerequisite that I wanna share with you is YouTube Studio before we get into the next section. So YouTube Studio is YouTube's back end. You can only see your own YouTube Studio and that's where you go and you upload your YouTube videos. That's where you add your description box and do your tags and turn your monetization on and you know all of the back end things are housed in YouTube studio and that is where you're gonna go to actually activate your monetization once you are eligible so that leads me into the next point how do you activate your monetization once you find out that you are eligible so first of all if you aren't eligible I highly recommend you go into your YouTube channel and there will be a place a tab when you go into YouTube Studio that says monetization. When you click that tab, if you are not yet able to monetize, it's just gonna say, notify me when I'm eligible. Click that so that 
You don't have to keep checking to see if you're eligible or not. And YouTube will actually notify you when you are eligible to monetize. Now, if you are eligible to monetize, you hit all of the requirements, then congrats, it is time to get the ball rolling. So what you're gonna start off doing is going into your YouTube studio and signing up for Google AdSense. Now, if you have a blog or some sort of website that you've already been running Google AdSense, ads on because YouTube isn't the only place that you can run Google AdSense, then you can just add your account. Um, but if you don't have a Google AdSense account, then you're going to sign up in YouTube and there's a way that they directly allow you to do that. So once you go into YouTube studio to link or sign up for your Google AdSense account, I will leave the instructions down below on exactly how to do that. There's a full tutorial on YouTube, but I don't want to spend time going through those step by steps because they kind of walk you through that once you have that eligibility. Now, once you have signed up for Google AdSense, they're gonna ask you for quite a bit of personal information. They're gonna ask you for a W-9 form for tax purposes. They're also gonna ask you for your bank account information for direct deposit. Once you sign up for Google AdSense, you complete all of these forms, you're gonna get a piece of paper in the mail. And that piece of paper is going to have a code on it. Basically, the reason why they send you this piece of paper is because they wanna verify that your mailing address is correct for future uh, 1099 forms that they're gonna send you for tax purposes. So they wanna ensure your, your address is correct, so they're gonna send a code that you have to go into your YouTube studio, into your Google AdSense account, and insert that code that is in that envelope that you get in the mail. Now this can take a couple days or it could take several weeks. It just really depends on what happens. I know when I did mine in 2019, it did not take very long for mine to come in the mail. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. Once you put that code in, they're also going to go ahead and send a deposit of like a cent or two cents into the account that you said you want your money direct deposited in just to make sure that it is a valid bank account and the transaction goes through. And then you are all set. You are all set up um, with Google AdSense and you are ready to get paid as a YouTube partner. Now, the last step is very important. You wanna make sure you go into YouTube and you activate and turn on monetization for all your past videos. As you can see in the screenshot, you can go through each video and toggle on in the monetization section so that way you get paid for every single video i know in my last video that i did about the monetization process i got a lot of people asking can you monetize off of old videos absolutely that's what makes youtube such an incredible platform you could have made a video five years ago and if it's still getting traffic you can still make money off of it now, what you can't do is make money off of old views. It is the views that you get once you monetize. So if your video has 100,000 views before you were able to monetize, you don't get paid for those 100,000 views after you turn on your monetization. You get paid for all the views after that. So if it hits 150,000 views, you would essentially have gotten paid for those 50,000 views of the ad being watched, okay? I hope that makes sense. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually place ads inside of your video. So this is my channel and I'm gonna go into YouTube Studio. You click your icon or your photo in the corner and then go into YouTube Studio. Now, once you're inside of YouTube Studio, you wanna go to this sidebar and click content. Don't click monetization, make sure you click content. And then click the video that you want to add the ads into. So just keep in mind, when you are uploading a video to YouTube, if you go here and click create and upload a video, then you're going to be taken through the monetization process in that. But if you are someone who is trying to add ads into your video, maybe you just got monetized and you have some old videos you wanna place ads into, this is how you can do that. So once you go inside of that video, click monetization, and obviously you wanna make sure that it is selected as on and not off. Um, and then all of these can be selected so that you can get as much ads money as possible. And then click manage mid rolls. This is where you're gonna be able to customize where you want those ads to fall. Now, I typically only have three ads in each video, but when it's a really long video, like this one is 26 minutes, I will throw in one or two more ads in there. 
Um, you can strategically place your ads to increase watch time. It's basically like a commercial break. So think of when you're watching a TV show and they leave like a cliffhanger and they're like, oh my gosh, like what is it going to look like? So if you have a reveal, like in this video, I reveal how the calendar looked on my wall. Um, so I placed an ad right before I showed what the calendar looked like once it was on the wall. So these types of things can keep actually keep your audience engaged and keep them watching and wanting to see what happens next. So I do recommend going in here and adding your ads strategically where you think they'll fit best. Now you can also click place automatically and it'll just place them wherever it feels necessary. But this is this little bar represents the ad. So you, this is how you move it and place it where you want to place it at. And YouTube does a pretty good job of showing you with these white lines where there are cuts so that you can kind of click on it and see if you want to place an ad in a certain spot. I think these are kind of like recommended places to cut an ad based on a cut in the video. So maybe I will place it right there, right before the video, the calendar goes up. So that is how you place ads in your video and then you just click, click continue and save. All right, let's talk about when you get paid. So you've set all of your stuff up in Google AdSense. Now, when do you actually get the money? There are a few different things that need to be considered. First thing is YouTube pays the 21st of every month, between like the 21st and the 25th. So if the 21st falls on a Sunday, they will probably pay you on the 22nd. It's usually in that window of time. What what is very important to know is that you get paid for the previous month in this current month. So if it is currently October, I'm going to get paid for September on October 21st. I'm going to get paid for October on November 21st. So every month you're receiving the previous month's payout. And that is just how YouTube works. So you are going to have to just, you know, live with it. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well is that you can only get paid out if you hit a hundred dollar threshold. Okay, now let's talk about how much you get paid because that's like the golden question. Everyone wants to make a lot of money off YouTube. I mean, I want to make a lot of money off YouTube. It's just, it differs, okay? And there's no two channels that make the same amount on YouTube because there are so many different variables that account for how much you make. Of course, frequency has a lot to do with it. If you're frequently uploading, you're frequently getting traffic, you're frequently um, just gaining momentum with your channel, then you're probably going to make more money just off of the fact that you are putting in a lot of volume. Uh, but there are also other things such as your niche or your content category that may help you make more money. So for example, I get quite a bit on YouTube without even having, you know, I don't even have to have a ton of views to make quite a bit of money because my CPM rate is so high. So basically what CPM is, is cost per mil and mil as in I M I L L E, which means cost per thousand views. So this is the average amount that you get paid per thousand views that are, you know, viewed on your channel. And this is also, please keep in mind that this is also cost per mil, not just views, but views of the advertisement. So how many eyeballs have laid on this advertisement? Because if you have three ads stacked in one video and one is at the end and people only look at the first ad in that video, then you're not getting paid for the second two ads that you've placed in that video. So the cost per mil for certain industries, it can be a bit more. So my industry, most of the type of videos that I create are about entrepreneurship, business, money, tech, like a lot of those niches, People, when they're looking at content like that, they're usually kind of primed to buy something. Advertisers know that they're adults. They have money. So advertisers put more money into channels that they feel are going to make them more money, which is why my CPM is usually on the higher end. And the higher that CPM is, the more you're getting paid per thousand views. Also, subscribers do not matter when it comes to after that first thousand subscribers that you have to get to monetize, subscribers don't actually matter when it comes to how much you're making on YouTube. You are getting paid for the views of the advertisements. That's it.
So if you have a thousand subscribers and you get a have a million view video, then your check on YouTube is probably gonna look really great even if you don't have a lot of subscribers. Okay, let's talk taxes. Does YouTube automatically take out taxes or do you have to pay them on your own? It's a little bit hairy, so I'm just gonna read off of the actual Google site that talks all about taxes. So it says, creators outside of the US. If you submit US tax info, withholding rates are between zero to 30% on earnings you generate from viewers in the US and depend on whether your country has a tax treaty relationship with the United States. If you're a creator in the US, Google will not withhold taxes on earnings if you have provided valid tax info. Most US creators have already submitted their US tax info so therefore, your taxes will not automatically be withheld. So how frequently do you need to upload to get monetized faster? When I started my channel in 20, at the end of 2018, I actually only took one month to be able to monetize. So it is possible, y'all. It is so possible. I don't want y'all to think that it's something that has to take an extremely long time. If you are dedicated and you really believe that you are gonna be making money on YouTube, then you have to put the work in, you have to create really good content, and it can happen. Um, this is also not to say that it will happen the same way for everyone, but just keep your mind open and put the work in. I will say this, that quality and quantity have to be there. So if you wanna monetize really fast, the quality of your videos needs to be very good and the quantity of your videos needs to be consistent and as frequent as you can create quality. So if you guys want me to do a video on what makes content good, I can do that for you so that you know and you have more context of what I even mean when I say create good quality videos. I know this video is getting a little long, but I do wanna go over really quickly YouTube Shorts because that is like the new kid in town and everyone is really excited about how YouTube has rolled out the YouTube Shorts Fund and it is totally different than the YouTube Partner Program. So I wanna just share a little bit about that. You don't need to be a YouTube Partner to monetize your Shorts. This is a really big deal because if you have a YouTube channel and you haven't yet started monetizing your um, YouTube videos as a partner, you can make money off of shorts. Now, the thing about it is you have to be notified by YouTube that you are eligible. So there's nothing you can do. You just have to have posted a YouTube short within the last month. Excuse me. And this is a monthly fund that they're gonna keep letting you know if you're eligible for on a month to month basis. So basically what it is, is they have over, they have around a hundred million dollars that they're paying out between 2021 and 2022 to creators for creating YouTube short. If they send you an eligibility notification, it will come through your email, whatever email address you have your YouTube account under, or it will be right in your YouTube app. You have to claim this fund within uh, by the 25th of the month. So if they send it the first week of the month, you have to claim it by the 25th of that month to be able to monetize. And you can make up to $10,000 with the YouTube Shorts Fund. Of course, you have to link your AdSense account to be able to get paid. So even if you don't have an AdSense account because you aren't a YouTube partner yet, you can still go ahead and create an AdSense account. You don't have to be a YouTube partner to be able to create a Google AdSense account. And lastly, if you have made it this far, thanks for rocking. But there are some other ways that you can monetize on YouTube. First, there are memberships. And you can see all of this in the monetization tab in your YouTube studio. So you have memberships, you can charge for exclusive content to members, they can pay a monthly fee. Obviously YouTube gets a chunk of that fee, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but I know when I was starting my eBrand club, this was something that I had considered. And if you are someone who's considering, you know, dabbling into memberships, you wanna see if it's your type of business model, you wanna see if it's for you, then I think that this may be a good route to doing that. 
Um, obviously do some research before you do it, but it's seamlessly integrated into YouTube. Brand Connect, the biggest, the second biggest way that I make money now with YouTube because they have their own basically like influencer marketing agency embedded into YouTube. So Brand Connect is basically, they will reach out to you through YouTube and via email and let you know that a brand is interested in working with you. And they have campaigns and they have their own whole system within YouTube to push influencer marketing campaigns to you. And you can make a lot of money with Brand Connect deals. And so it's really cool that YouTube has that in the platform built in and you can get lots of opportunities that way. So that is what Brand Connect is. Number three, obviously, is the ad. Four is supers. A lot of people use this for lives um, to give like VIP treatment. If people donate a little bit of money to you or you know send you some money, then they let people ask questions. Um, so it's a cool way to integrate some monetization into your lives. Another way is through store. You can link products that maybe you have uh, or you have affiliates with into your videos and giving, which is more of a donation slash charitable type of monetization stream. Okay, now I'm gonna share my screen and let you guys know what I made on YouTube this year. So let's see how much money I have made. I'm going to go into analytics and this is where you're gonna find all of the important information about your YouTube channel. So this month, it, it will, show you based on the last 28 days. So I wouldn't take this number as an accurate number for how much you've actually made the current month. So what you wanna do is select this arrow and click October, September, August, whatever, and whatever month you're trying to look into, and then it'll show you exactly how much you have accumulated in this month. So we're currently into October, as I'm recording this, and so far in October, I've made $2,041.36. If you go over to revenue in this top bar, you can also see some of your important stats, like your CPM, which is something that we talked about earlier in the video. And you can see my CPM is $43.02, which is pretty high. So down below, it will break down all of your revenue. You can see how much you've made for the past few months. So you can see in May, I made $29,120. June, 5,000 roughly. Uh, July, 4,500 roughly. August, 11,000. September, 5,000. And currently in October, I have $2,000 built up. Now, this 29,000 also includes one of those Brand Connect deals. So Brand Connect, like I said, is another way that you can in, like add revenue into your YouTube channel uh, based on their partnerships. So if you score a partnership with Brand Connect, that money is going to be paid out just like your YouTube money the 21st of every month. So it lumps into the month at which the content went live. So if I posted something in May that was a Brand Connect deal, uh, then it will go into my May pay, which I receive in June. So like I said, ads are not the only way you can make money on YouTube. You can also get Brand Connect deals. If you have a membership, that will also be accumulated into this. And you can go in and see how that's broken down as well. You can also see your top earning videos. So even though you know a video may be your top viewed video for the month, that doesn't mean that it's your top earning video. Now, actually, this full monetization process was my top viewed video this month, even though I posted it in 2019, you guys. But the top earning video is watch this before you launch. So I hope that makes sense. But YouTube is definitely a great source of income, especially if you're consistent and you can really um, take the platform in full advantage, then you can make a lot of money with it. So I hope this encourages you and I will see you on the main screen. All right, you guys, I hope this video was so helpful for you. I know it was a long one, but hopefully it was very informative for you and is a one-stop shop if you are someone who is interested in monetizing on YouTube or you're at that point in your journey where you are ready 
to turn that monetization on and get to making your coin, okay? There's so much money to be made here on YouTube. And if you have any other questions of how you can do that, please let me know. I will be creating some more videos on YouTube and just how to build your brand here in this space. I also wanna let you know that I am going to be hosting a webinar very soon and I'm gonna leave all the information down below about that. It's gonna be called Ditch Your Niche. If you can feel the vibes, go ahead and click the link below so you can get some more information or get on the wait list for that. All right, you guys, bye for now.